Hello, how's everybody doing today? This is Mickey. Today I just want to take a few minutes to show you an offer that On One Software has going on for the month of January. And their offer is, for the month of January, they're offering their software, On One Effects 2023, free. No charges, no gimmicks, no catches. It's absolutely a lifetime license for free. Now, when we use Lightroom and, and Photoshop, we can use third-party software called plugins. And these plugins enhance or give more capabilities to Lightroom when you're processing a photo. And that's what On One Effects 2023 does. Now, it's not the current version. 2024 is the current version, but I have both. And there is literally barely any difference. There's a little change in the user interface, but its capabilities, its presets, its filters are exactly the same. I also want to say this is not sponsored by On One. On One doesn't even know I'm doing this. I just wanted to let my subscribers and friends know about this piece of software. Number one, because it's free. And number two, because it is literally one of the best third-party plugins I have used. And I've been using On One software for years. And I love this. I use this on almost every photograph. Now, let me just take a second and show you how you can get this. Now what you want, what you want to do is you want to go to the on one on one.com site and you want to go to plugins and choose effects. When you choose effects, you can see that 100% free in January, you're going to click on claim your copy. Now they're going to process you through their system because they validate the user by email and password. So they need to, when you download it, they need to know who you are so they can activate it and you can keep it for free. So this is just some advertisement of their other software. Got nothing to say about that. I do have it. It's good, but it's not free. And all we care about today is free. So once we're at this page, we're going to hit checkout. And this is going to take us to the screen where we start filling in our basic information to get the piece of software. Uh, you don't have to use any coupon code. Just fill in this information right here and click place your order. The next screen you see is just kind of a welcome and, and confirmation screen that you've ordered the software and just hit the continue button and it takes you to the software registration screen. So this is where they use your uh, email address and password and they'll create a, an account for you. So when you log into the software for the first time, it'll ask you to confirm your email and password so it'll validate the software. And you can see at the bottom of the page, this is what you're getting. You're not only getting the on one effects for Mac and Windows, but the getting started guide, the getting started in effects video course, and the user guide, which is quite in depth uh, if you want to read about every little thing. So once you've successfully set your password, it'll take you to this next screen that tells you there's been success and how you can access your online account. And again, it shows you the downloads that you can do. Now, the bottom three are the just getting started guide video course and user guide, but you need the software first. So what you want to do is click on on one effects 2023 for Mac and windows, and that will take you to the correct download screen. So once you click on one of these links, uh, like for me on one effects for the Mac, it will then download the application and put it in your download folder. And you just have to open it from your download folder and install it. It installs just like about every other application that you install on a Mac. The only thing you have to be sure of, and it'll remind you is that Lightroom and Photoshop must be shut down so that On One can install the plugins and they'll be active the next time you start up Lightroom or Photoshop. All right, we'll assume that you've installed the On One Effects in Lightroom and we have relaunched Lightroom. And I just want to go through some of the features of On One Effects, not really so much the technical operation of it. That's for a later day, either on YouTube or you can just send me a request of something that you want to do in it and I'll show you. But to get to uh, On One Effects inside your photograph in the develop mode, we're going to go to Photo, Edit In, On One Effects. Now I have a lot of plugins, so your list hopefully won't be this long, but just find it in your list On One Effects under the Edit In. You can also Go to File, Plugin, Extras, and find the same thing, On One Effects 2023. When you select that, it's going to give you your export options because it's going to send a copy into the plugin of On One Effects. And 
I find using it as a smart photo PSD is probably a better way to do it because when you save it as a smart photo, you can always go back into uh, Unwin Effects without losing anything if it is a smart photo. So we've saved it as a export as a smart PSD and it launches on one effects. And as you can see, it opens up in full screen. Over on the left hand side, you have presets and filters. These are fun to play with. So if you wanted to see a black and white alternative, it's going to show you in real time as you hover over it. You can see it brings you real time view. And the same way with filters. The filters are also be over on the right hand side. And this is kind of they make layers for each filter that you can put onto the photograph. Now, some of the filters that I use a lot, I like dynamic contrast. It's uh, kind of like uh, a smart contrast. As you can see, it's a lot sharper. Here's the panel for a dynamic contrast. And you have opacity, and you can change whether you want to hit small, medium, or large. Uh, edges for contrast. If you click on the little blue dot here, it turns off the effect. You can see it gets a little softer. Turn it back on. So that's affecting the whole picture. This little icon here is on all of them. It's a mask, so you can paint in or paint out the effect if you don't want it. And if you want to add another filter to it, you can just click add again. Another one I like is uh, sunshine. It just adds a nice glow. As you can see here, I'll turn it off. Turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. Just a really nice glow. And of course, you can change the amount and the warmth and the opacity. Uh, another one I like is a vignette. I like what they call a big softy, which is this one right here. And that puts it into effect. You have control of the brightness of the vignette, the size of the vignette. I like to bring the feather all the way down to see exactly how big my uh, then that's going to be in the shape of it and then I bring the feather back up and I can adjust the brightness there so before after before after see these are just with simple clicks another one that uh, would be real popular that I use every now and then you go to add filter and we'll go to sun flare and now we can pick a sun flare see it's already one in place here but let's pick a sun star and then we can grab the transform right here which allows us to put the star somewhere else so We'll say right there, you have opacity, you have different types of sun flares and stars that you can add. Works real quick. Let's see, with X we get rid of this. And as you notice, any kind of filter that we do pick, and we'll check uh, color enhancer. Uh, everyone has a mask, so you can put the effect in place and then mask it in or out if that's not what you want to do. Um, you have, uh, like in this one, it, we always have opacity. So this one we could just say uh, we want to affect fall colors and you see the boost of colors. You can change the opacity if you think that's too bright. You could change the saturation. Uh, there also is a smart AI for foreground, background, sky. Uh, you have uh, an AI brush to help you paint. You have a linear gradient that you can drop on just by choosing this and put the gradient in place and that will take away or add the effects that you're using here. And as you can see, as you put on a new effect, so we'll say vignette and we'll also put on a curves layer. Here's our curves layer. If you're used to using that, you have it. You can see that it's given us layers. So this, uh, these effects are built up as layers within on one effects. Once you have all your effects in place, you just come down here and click on Done, and it sends it back to Lightroom as a new uh, copy. So you can see that this is the one we started out with, and this is the one that we changed. Uh, let me show you another one that uh, is real good for this time of year is uh, weather. So we're going to click on this picture. Uh, well, let's just see which one would look best. Yeah, we'll try this one. Uh, and we're going to go to File. Add in plug, plug in extras and on 123. Say OK. Now we're going to take our, our photograph and we're going to add weather to it. So we click add filter weather. And from here we can choose different types of fog or snow. So I'm going to choose blizzard. You can see it throws it right in there. Um, white out, winter is coming. I kind of like that one more. Again, you have your opacity. 
that you can make the snow a little dimmer if you want. Uh, you can change the direction the snow is coming. Uh, you can change the amount of fog that is also thrown in this filter. So let's say we want just a little more fog. Distance is kind of the blend mode of where the fog and the uh, foreground comes together. And then rotating and transition just gives it more transition, as you can see here, the feather of the edge of that mask. So that has that's weather. Then we could add another filter. Uh, let's see, we could add dynamic contrast to this. So it makes the edges look a lot better. If I turn this off and on, off and on, just gives a nice edge to the photograph. We can then add borders. You can choose the type of border that you want, sloppy, instant. A drop down always gives you a lot more. So if you want to add some borders to it. But as you can see, there's just tons of things you can do with this. And I haven't even gotten into the presets uh, and some of the AI work uh, of the, it'll actually divide up foreground to uh, sky and midground. You can change the skies with this. You can do a lot of color manipulation with it. it it's just a, just a really good tool. And for the price of zero, I don't think you can go wrong with it. Uh, after you're through, again, we're going to jump out of here. We'll go back into Lightroom. Well, I hope you enjoyed the view of into this on one effects. That is free, free forever. You know, even if you don't want to keep the upgrade going to 20, 2024, 2025, it's still a great piece of software to supplement your Lightroom with and very simple to use. Uh, Again, let me tell you, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube for On One Effects 2023. I invite you to look at them. Scott Davenport is one of the better ones. Uh, and Jim Nix is another one. Very good tutorials on everything you can do in On One. If you have any other questions that I can help you with, if you have trouble with the install, shoot me an email. That's probably not a, a single problem I hadn't run across in the past. And I'll be more than glad to help you. Hope you guys all take care and I'll talk to you later.